Well, monitoring and assessment is an important part of the wider field of language curriculum design. And monitoring and assessment, in other words, uh, gives valuable information about how the course is running and how it is useful or it is best for the students. So these are, this is the information which we can better elicit with the help of monitoring and assessment. So we'll be looking at uh, the purpose and role of monitoring and assessment and its various types. So, so overall, if we have a well thought out parameters for monitoring and assessment that will ensure that the program is running very well and uh, that, that will help us observe how the learning is actually taking place. And if we need uh, certain changes, for example, so that, that can be uh, undertaken. So this is how monitoring uh, actually plays an important role and it's the job of the language curriculum designer to ensure that uh, the overall document contains clear guidelines about uh, assessment and evaluation and how uh, this uh, the program can be monitored uh, in terms of uh, in, in terms of coming to know the its usefulness for the learners so let's uh, start. Uh, these are the types which I will uh, touch on here in brief. Well, we'll look at uh, these uh, six types of monitoring and assessment in more detail in, in the coming modules. So uh, I'm just uh, briefly going through uh, the first type is the placement assessment. I mean, how, and it's usually uh, done in the beginning of the course and it ensures whether the students are suitable for a particular language course. Then we'll look at observation of learning, how, I mean, it looks at uh, actually the monitoring ac activities, uh, the learning activities taking place in the classroom. It doesn't look at the learners, rather the activities, the tasks and their usefulness, their relevance. The third is short-term Achievement. We'll be looking at some issues uh, uh, how it is conducted on daily or weekly basis, and uh, then we'll see diagnostic assessment to see the gaps or you know, the desired needs of the students. And the fifthly, achievement assessment, which is uh, done uh, usually towards the end of a course, uh, and to know uh, to what extent the students have learned from a specific language program uh, and we'll be looking at the sixth type which is proficiency for example IELTS which can tell us the proficiency level of the students and their uh, you know knowledge of the language so these are six types which we will see in more detail in our uh, coming modules